In today's show, Mike McGlone calls major Bitcoin breakout, but the crypto analyst first warns that Bitcoin, Ethereum, and XRP will likely tumble before the Bitcoin bull run begins. That's right, Bloomberg intelligence commodity strategist Mike McGlone says Bitcoin is set for a major breakout with the leading crypto targeting $13,000 in the near term. Taking a look at his tweet, Bitcoin, a cage bull set for breakout, eyeing 13K resistance. The more disdain from bulls should be for the better, keeping the price tilted upward for the consolidating crypto. Declining Bitcoin volatility reflects maturation towards a digital version of gold. I'll be breaking this down for you here in today's show. Also, in today's episode, at this rate, Grayscale Bitcoin Trust will own 3.4% of all Bitcoin by January. That's right. You have to take a look at this to believe it. Unbelievable. Grayscale added 19,879 Bitcoin to their Bitcoin Trust since last week. That's 53,588 Bitcoin since the Bitcoin halving of last month. Bitcoin miners only produce 7,081 Bitcoin since last week week. That's 39,544 Bitcoin since the halving. That's almost 400,000 Bitcoin under management for the Grayscale Bitcoin Trust. And this illustration says it all. Check this out. Since last week, Grayscale purchased 19,879 Bitcoin, as we can see in the yellow and then in the light green. That's how much Bitcoin has actually been mined in the last week, which is only 7,081. So why are institutions hoarding and buying up more Bitcoin than is actually being mined. We'll be discussing this here in today's show. Also in today's episode, Coinbase will now pay you to learn about five specific altcoins. We'll be discussing what those five altcoins are here in today's show. And we'll also be taking a look at the overall crypto market. As we can see, Bitcoin and all the major altcoins are in the red. Where's the Bitcoin price likely to go from here? Find out all this plus so much more in today's show. Here at Crypto News Alerts, I drop a brand new episode every single day. So be sure to smash that subscribe button and turn on all notifications to receive daily premium crypto news alerts. And before we kick off today's show, if interested in learning from the Wall Street legend himself, Tika Twari, who picked Apple back in 2003 and Bitcoin in 2016, as he shares his number one pick for the 2020s, they're calling it the investment of the decade. Right now, there is a mad rush in corporate America. It involves Amazon, Google, Microsoft, and Facebook. They're betting on a new technology that the World Economic Forum projects will soar 295 thousand percent over seven years but it's not ai the internet of things or 5g to discover what it is click the link below this video in the description to watch this exclusive presentation by the one and only tika tawari all right welcome back to another episode of crypto news alerts i'm your host jv and let's kick it off by diving into today's top story of the day mike mcglone calls major bitcoin breakout but the analyst warns that bitcoin ethereum and xrp will likely tumble before the bull run begins Bloomberg intelligence commodity strategist Mike McGlone says Bitcoin is set for a major breakout with the leading crypto targeting $13,000 in the near term. May I remind you, last year's high was 14 k just throwing it out there. McGlone says he expects weeks of consolidation to end as Bitcoin's volatility hovers at a level where big breakouts tend to erupt. Taking a look at his tweet on crypto Twitter, Bitcoin, a cage bull set for breakout. Reminds me of the raging bull eyeing 13,000 resistance. The more disdain from the bulls should be for the better, keeping the price tilted upward for the consolidating crypto. Declining Bitcoin volatility reflects maturation towards a digital version of gold. And he shared this included in his tweet, which I'll include in the show notes below the video in the description. And it shows you a low volatility wedge. Bitcoin breakout soon, according to this technical analysis. And then he also shared this, showing the narrowest ever Bollinger Bands and digital gold. So it is what it is. Not all crypto analysts see a big Bitcoin rally on the horizon. The popular crypto analyst trader X0 tells his 40,000 Twitter followers that Bitcoin's historic price action suggests the crypto king will drop to $5,000 before starting a new bull cycle. 
taking a look at his tweet here on crypto Twitter. Bitcoin, a scenario I believe that has a good probability of playing out since the start of June. Posting this again as I have nuked my timeline. Still very close on the cards. So according to this crypto analyst, we're going to see a major pullback to the $5,000 level. And let's continue. Meanwhile, Ethereum is seeing a strong surge in both volume and daily active addresses. The crypto analytics company, Santiment, says the metrics are bullish for Ethereum in the long run. However, in the near term, the firm says the transactional throughput of the top 100 altcoins has soared by over 20,000% since March 27, 2020, suggesting that a local top may be in place for Ethereum and the altcoin market at large. Let me know if you're bullish or bearish on the second largest crypto, which is Ethereum. As it shows right here, the top 100 alt volume outpacing Bitcoin and Ethereum. This is a comparison of Bitcoin, Ethereum, and the top 100 altcoins, volume, and DAA in the past three months from Santiment. Meanwhile, traders are concerned that Ethereum and XRP may have overcome significant sell walls from the $2.9 billion plus token scam. On Wednesday, the whale watching bot Whale Alert spotted a transaction of 789,533 Ether worth over $190 million. The move has analysts concerned that the criminals behind one of the most notorious scams in the history of crypto are trying to sell their stash. As we can see here on this Whale Alert, oof. 789,534 ETH valued at $187 million transferred from plus token to unknown wallet. Pretty interesting, right? In addition, Well Alert also flagged two large XRP transactions last week to the tune of 284,000 XRP worth $53.7 million. According to the XRP Explorer, Bithump plus token scammers are also behind the two large XRP transfers. Go figure, a pseudonymous analyst known in the industry as Pentoshi tells his 15,000 followers on Twitter that XRP may continue to dip from its current price of about 18 cents and enter a buy zone in the 15 cent area. Taking a look at his tweet here, 901 days of lower highs. Holy moly. 99 left to hit a thousand sunrises plus sunsets. It has been entirely left behind in the markets with each mini alt season. However, I think 1500 sats or 15 cents is an attractive long-term entry that can provide a few hundred percent. A new cycle will begin. So let me know your thoughts surrounding XRP. Are you bullish or bearish? Do you feel that Ethereum and XRP may potentially outrun Bitcoin this next bull cycle? Holla at your boy and let me know in the comments right down below. And before we get to our next story, at this rate, the Grayscale Bitcoin Trust will own 3.4% of all Bitcoin by January. Let's first take a look at the overall crypto market. We can see Bitcoin about even now for the day, hovering above $9,100 support. We have Ether down 0.2%, trading at $229. Chainlink down 1.6%, trading at $4.61. And XRP down 0.38%, trading just above $8. Cents. Now, if you know me, you already know some of the most bullish altcoins I feel that are the most undervalued in the market right now include Chainlink, which can be considered the missing link of the blockchain, which is an Oracle crypto on the Ethereum blockchain, as well as Ether itself. I think that decentralized finance, DeFi is the future, and we are going to see another surge when it happens. Who knows? But will it happen? I'm pretty confident that it will. I'd love to know your thoughts in the comments right down below. And before we check out some of the volume in the top exchanges, let's break down our next story of the day. Grayscale Investments have added 19,879 Bitcoin, that's all, to its Bitcoin trust in the last week. Purchasing Bitcoin faster than the Bitcoin tokens can actually be mined. This is extremely bullish when we see this sentiment in the market coming from major institutions because this is just one company buying up all this Bitcoin. So could you imagine Grayscale Investments has purchased almost half a billion dollars in Bitcoin since the block reward halving of last month. This week, they bought Bitcoin around three times faster than miners can produce blocks. So they're outpacing them by 3x. According to a June 25th tweet from the crypto analyst Kevin Rook, the investment firm bought 19,879 Bitcoin worth $184 million in the last week. That's within seven days for its Bitcoin trust, bringing its total number of coins to roughly 
$400,000. Check it out for yourself. Here's the tweet from Kevin Rook. Unbelievable. Grayscale added 19,879 Bitcoin to their Bitcoin trust since last week. That's 53,588 Bitcoin since the Bitcoin halving of last month. Bitcoin miners only produce 7,081 Bitcoin since last week, which is 39,544 Bitcoin since the BTC halving. That's almost 400,000 Bitcoin under management for one company, the Bitcoin Grayscale Trust. And taking a look at this graph, which is an illustration that says it all, Grayscale has done it again. Since last week, they purchased 19,000 plus Bitcoin, which we can see in the yellow. And in the light green, we can see how much Bitcoin has actually been mined since last week. Quite the comparison because Grayscale Trust is outpacing Bitcoin by how it's being mined by three X, and that's just one company. So is there institutional demand? You bet your bottom dollar there is. And let's not forget, we got one of the most influential investors of our time, Paul Tudor Jones, who just recently allocated between one to 3% of his overall investment portfolio into Bitcoin. So we're talking about a sum of hundreds of millions of dollars being invested into Bitcoin right now. That's heavy institutional demand. And again, that's just Paul Tudor Jones. That's just the grayscale Bitcoin trust. So what's going to happen when you have multiple other companies purchasing up tremendous amounts of Bitcoin as well? I already know what's going to happen. Expect the Bitcoin price to surge. It's only a matter of time. Rook stated that not only is Grayscale buying massive amounts of the crypto, but it's now doing so at a rate of roughly 280% of the new Bitcoin mine. Twitter user Not pointed out, taking a look at his tweet here, Grayscale alone has taken all Bitcoin mined plus 14,000 more Bitcoin off the table since the halving, when, not if, rocket ship to the moon. Touche. So is Grayscale cornering the Bitcoin market right now? I'd say so. At the moment, there's just over 14 million Bitcoin in circulation, with the rest presumed lost, which could be millions in itself. Grayscale has bought 53,588 Bitcoin in total since the May 11th halving, equating to an average of 1,190 Bitcoin per day. If it keeps buying at the same rate daily, it will own 3.4% of the world's Bitcoin supply, which would be 625,000 Bitcoin by January of 2021 and 10% by the time of the next halving in 2024. Grayscale founder Barry Silbert suggested in May that the fund would be ramping up its purchases, you can say that again, in the second quarter, and it appears he's a man of his word, right? The investment firm announced that it had $4.1 billion in assets under management as of June 25th, which means Grayscale's value has nearly doubled from $2.1 billion in May of 2019. And again, we're just getting started. We're just getting warmed up here. Here in this crypto market stocking up on ethereum too you bet your bottom dollar they are grayscale's ethereum fund owns 396 million dollars in ethereum coin telegraph reported that grayscale had purchased 110 million worth of ethereum in 2020 as of june 5th however while ethereum shares surged over 800 percent in early june with traders testing 250 dollars they crashed by 50 percent just days later before settling near 100 dollars it's been a roller coaster ride to say the least so what are your thoughts surrounding the Grayscale Bitcoin Trust purchasing up all this Bitcoin? Also, in a previous episode, I shared that Shamath P, a Bitcoin billionaire who purchased a million Bitcoin back in 2013 for roughly $80 per Bitcoin. So that was like an $80 million investment now worth over $9 billion. You have the Winklevoss twins considered the first billionaires in the space. I don't know about you, but with all this bullish sentiment from institutions coming in, purchasing up all this Bitcoin. Bitcoin, I would not be surprised if Bitcoin retests its all-time high set back in December of 2017 of $20,000 and we blow past it this year. I think it's inevitable. It's definitely going to happen. The only question is when will it happen? All right. And now before we get to our next episode of the day with Coinbase now paying you to learn about five specific altcoins, let's take a look at the overall volume here in the market. We can see Binance down 18% for the day with 3.2 billion in volume. Hobby Global down 16% with 2.9 billion in global. And interestingly enough, Hobby Global is given Binance a run for their money. Just the other day, for the first time ever, I saw Hobby Global with more volume than Binance. So it was actually the number one exchange as far as volume in the world. But right now, Binance is up 
but barely. OKEX down 16% with 1.9 billion in volume, and BitMEX down 29% with $1 billion in volume in the past 24 hours. All right, now let's talk about some alts. You can now earn five crypto assets simply by learning about them on the crypto exchange Coinbase hours after enabling the buying and selling of Compound Governance Token, which is Comp, on its trading platforms. Coinbase added the digital asset to Coinbase Earn. Comp is a native token of the popular decentralized finance DeFi protocol compound. The Ethereum-based token allows hodlers or holders to suggest, debate, and implement changes to the leading platform. Coinbase launched its rewards program in late of 2018 to encourage users to learn about digital assets. The platform, which started with 0x, ZRX, shout out to ZRX, has added rewards for those interested in learning about Stellar, Stellar Lumens. We got Tezos, EOS, Orchids, and now Comp. So those are the five altcoins you can earn just by learning about on Coinbase. Coinbase is an investor in Compound and says it plans to hold onto its stake in the company for the time being. That's good to note. Coinbase is actually an investor in this cryptocurrency we're talking about. Coinbase owns Comp tokens as a result of the 2018 investment in Compound. Coinbase intends to maintain its investment in Compound for the foreseeable future and maintains internal policies that address the timing of permissible disposition of its digital assets, including comp tokens. So there you have it. Now let's take a look at the overall crypto market. We can see 261 billion is where it's sitting at with 56 billion in volume in the past 24 hours. And the current BTC dominance, which has been on the decline, currently 64.5% according to CoinMarketCap. And now taking a look at the top gainers within the top 100, we have Celsius up a whopping 15%, trading at 38 cents. Agor up 9%, trading at $17.59. Horizon up 9% trading at seven dollars and 25 cents flexacoin still flexing on you up seven percent trading at 0 0.002 steam up five percent trading at 20 cents and v systems up four percent trading at 2.6 cents out of this list of altcoins which altcoins and projects are you most bullish on let me know in the comments right down below and now taking a look at the biggest losers within the top 100 swiss borg down nine percent it's definitely been on a roller coaster ride as of late uh trading at 10 cents electric Tronium down 9%, trading at 0 0.005. Zilliqa down 6%, trading at 1.6 cents. Decentraland down almost 6%, trading at 3.8 cents. Nano down 5.8%, trading just below 10 cents. And Sia Coin down 5% trading at 0 0.002. And as we continue to scroll down, you can definitely see there is a bearish sentiment in the market. I'd say more than half the major cryptos are currently in the red, but a good mixture also in the green as Bitcoin declines. We tend to see a surge in some altcoins in the market. And now taking a look at the BitMEX margins. We can see, holy moly, when I started this recording 10, 15 minutes ago, shorts and bears were in control, but now it's long and bulls, but barely, leading by about 2 million in superiority in the last 24 hours, with longs leading 50.12%, versus 49.88% shorts. Are you currently bullish or bearish on the king of all cryptos? Let me know right down below. And now taking a look at the Crypto Greed and Fear Index. It shows we're currently rated a 43 in fear. Yesterday was a 40 in fear, last week a 38, and last month a 41, which is all in fear. And if you're not familiar with the Crypto Greed and Fear Index, extreme fear can be a sign that investors are too worried. That can be a buying opportunity. And when investors are getting too greedy, that means the market is due for correction. And I want to encourage you to check out the description right below this video by clicking show more in the description right down below for a detailed analysis of what's going on in the market. This goes for all 460 plus videos right here on my channel. I also have some very helpful resources for you to plug into, including the blog to my podcast, which could be found at cryptonewsyes.com. Not only is this updated every single day, it also allows you to download the latest episode of the show in MP3 format so you can listen to it in the car on your way to work, when you're out and about or working out and just doing your thing. Also, be sure to subscribe on YouTube by smashing that subscribe button. You can also do so by visiting the direct link, cryptonewsalerts.net. Also, I appreciate your continued support on all the major podcasting platforms, including Apple's iTunes, Spotify, Google Play, Stitcher Radio. You can also follow us on Twitter to receive daily crypto news alerts. My Twitter handle is Crypto News Yes. And for those of you active on Facebook, as I am, I'm extremely 
extremely active. I have a crypto Facebook group entitled Crypto Alchemy with over 17,000 strong from all over the world. To become a part of this, simply click this link, request to join. I'll be sure to plug you in. And for those of you active on Telegram, as I am as well, I do have a crypto Telegram chat. To join this, simply click this link. You'll automatically be added, and I'm looking forward to connecting with you personally on the inside. Well, that's going to conclude today's show. As always, I appreciate you tuning in and journeying along with me inside this incredible crypto revolution. If you gain value out of today's show, be sure to smash that subscribe button and turn on all notifications to receive daily premium crypto news alerts. And real quick, before I go, if interested in learning from the Wall Street legend himself, Tika Tuari, who picked Apple back in 2003 and Bitcoin in 2016, as he shares his number one pick for the 2020s, they're calling it the investment of the decade. Right now, there is a mad rush in corporate America. It involves Amazon, Google, Microsoft, and Facebook. They're all betting on a new technology that the World Economic Forum projects will soar 295,000% over seven years, but it's not AI, the Internet of Things, or 5G. To discover what it is, click the link below this video in the description. It's going to take you here to watch this exclusive presentation by the one and only Tika Tuari. Enjoy it, and I look forward to catching you in tomorrow's episode. Peace.